Hey guys, welcome back to the series of Django. As we are doing the hospital management system using the Django framework, we have done the login for the doctors and as well as the home page, profile page for the doctors. In this tutorial, we are going to view the appointments and add the prescription for the appointment to the patient. So let's get started. All right. Now we need to change the view appointments method in views.py file. So we already have a condition for patient and now we need to view appointments for the doctor as well. So I'll simply copy these from the patient condition and paste them here. And now I need to change the group name to the doctor because we are writing for the doctor. And now the filter option to doctor email because the user is doctor and now near the render function we need to change the template name that is doctor view appointments dot html so we are sending the data to the template and now we need to view them in the template so open the doctor view appointments template so in this before the ul tag i'll open the for loop for the upcoming appointments so i'll say braces mod space for i in upcoming underscore appointments and i'll close this for loop after the ul tag completes and i'll say end for so in the heading tag i'll display this as double braces of i dot patient name space appointment with space double braces of i dot doctor name space on space double braces of i dot appointment date this will give me the patient name and followed by appointment with the doctor name on the appointment date so this will be my heading so here near the doctor name i'll display this as double braces of i dot doctor name and for the patient name that will be double braces of i dot patient name for the appointment date that will be double braces of i dot appointment date and for the appointment time that will be i dot appointment time and for the symptoms this will be i dot symptoms so now if the appointment is not yet completed then the doctor can give a prescription so for that i'll create a text area and a button to add the prescription here itself so i'll create a new row here that is a tr and i'll add the label for that i'll say td and i'll say add prescription and now i'll start the form that is a form space method is equal to post and in the new column td and i'll close this immediately so we are submitting a form then we need to have a csrf token so i'll say braces mod space csrf underscore token and now i need a text area that will be text area space class is equal to form hyphen control and name is equal to prescription and in the another column i need a submit button so i'll open the another column for that i'll say td and in this i need a button so for that i'll say input type is equal to submit space class is equal to btn hyphen danger this means in bootstrap this gives a red color button and now i need the value that will be add prescription so i have closed the form and also i have closed the row so now we have the form and we also have the post method and the csrf token but there is one more thing missing that is for which appointment we need to add this prescription we need a reference right so for that with the text area i'll create a hidden input type that will be input type is equal to hidden and the value will be double braces of i dot id and the name will be id of appointment so till now we have done 
the upcoming appointments and for the previous appointments we will have another loop and you the details but for the previous appointments there will not be an option for adding the prescription and the remaining will be same so i'll change the template and come back So the template is changed and now we need to update the view for appointments page again because we are adding the prescription to the appointment here itself. So we need to update that. For that open the views.py file and here I will give a condition that is uh, if request.method is equal to post. I need to get the data from the text area so I will say prescription data is equal to request.post of prescription and also I need to get the data of the ID so I'll get this as ID value is equal to request.post of ID of appointment so we got all the data required and now I need to update the prescription data in the database because by default we have given the prescription as empty so for that I'll say appointment.objects.filter off. I need to filter with the ID of the appointment. So for that I'll say ID is equal to ID value dot update off. So I need to update the prescription. For that I'll say prescription is equal to prescription data comma status is equal to false. That means if we add the prescription the status value is false. And now in the patient condition, after the status is false, we need to send the appointment to the previous appointments. So for that, I'll add the condition, which is or condition. So I'll say or space appointment dot objects dot filter of patient email is equal to request dot user comma status is equal to false dot order underscore by of minus appointment date the same will be reflected in the doctor as well so i'll add the org condition and i'll change that as doctor email and now we need to add this view appointment url in all the templates of the doctor so i'll change that and come back So I have updated all the templates and views. So let's go and check whether the prescription is getting added or not. So for that first we need to make an appointment from the patient side. So I have done an appointment and you can view that in the view appointments page from the patient side. And now in the doctor's login. So go to the view appointments page and in the appointment you can see and text area and a button to add the prescription so go ahead and add the prescription and click on the button given so here we have a problem that is after adding the prescription the same appointment is again viewing on the upcoming appointments so that's not the case right so for that open the views.py file and in the condition for upcoming appointments of the doctor add another condition that will be comma status is equal to true and i'll copy this and i'll paste it in the patient condition also and yes save the file and refresh the browser and yes the appointment is changed to previous appointments 
and also we have the prescription in the appointment so that's it for now hope you guys like this video make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for instant notifications from my channel thanks for watching